What's up, guys? It's the Equanimous here, and today we're going to play some more um, Na Napoleon Total War with um, the Factions mod enabled. And we were playing as Greece, and we are going to continue off where we left off last time. And the Austrian army is attacking us, <laughs> to put it bluntly. But by the looks of things, it's not quite as uh, terrible of a ordeal as it might seem. That may be a rather large army, but from the looks that we have here, it is mostly uh, militia. So, not really sure what Austria is trying to do. They probably just sort of does what the AI does and builds crappy armies when it doesn't have any to spare. I don't know. <laughs> but, we it's not all ju just that army. There's an Austrian army down here. But we got troops nearby ready to pursue them and take them out as soon as possible. But we're going to kick this episode off with a battle. So let's attack this large Ar Austrian army and finish them off. Hopefully. Or at least just put them put them into full retreat. Whatever. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, they have a unit of Hungarian Fusiliers and Jagers. But that's it. The only thing they have going for them is possibly their general. Because he's decent general. <laughs> He's pretty good. But we got enough experienced troops, cannons, and cavalry. They shouldn't be that much of a threat. The Battle of Iasi, 1806. Like, yeah, I'm kind of surprised that the AI wants to do that, make large militia armies, but um, I'm not really complaining, but at the same time, it's kind of annoying, just because it sort of takes away, like, what it should be. It should be, like, army to army, line infantry to line infantry, but, hey, if they want to do that, <laughs> I can't complain. Okay, now let's line up our infantry in a long, nice and long line. Then let's get the cavalry on the flanks. Actually I'm gonna put all the cavalry on this flank. I'm not one to micro that well so I'm gonna place all the cavalry on one flank. And I almost find that to be slightly better especially when you're fighting the AI because then you can just uh, cl uh, clopper them on either flank and then continue to run down their line and also send separal or separate units uh, throughout their battle line. Okay, so light formation. Okay, let's get our general behind the artillery. We got to do the artillery first. Uh, let's see here. Um, seems kind of like a pretty good spot, so I'm actually going to do what I don't usually prefer to do and set my artillery here, but not in um, firing position. I'm going to first move them up the hill slightly. Okay, let's do this. Okay, let's get all the infantry moving. Put in slow motion. Okay, get our troops moving. Hopefully, our artillery has enough time to get up to the front. Okay, let's get our cavalry moving over to that flank. Darn, I really wish I would have put my cavalry over on this flank. Okay, let's move our guys slightly um, to the side likewise. But it seems the enemy... Um, oh, excuse me. Uh, phone's ringing. I'll be right back, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I'm back. Uh, you know how it is. Uh, life, uh, keeps moving whether you like it or not. So, let's get back into the battle at large, though. Um, okay. Looks like my cavalry aren't gonna be able to slip behind them on this flank. And I'm not really fond of moving them. Well, I could move them to the other side of the battle line. They just have such a massive infantry force that 
it's going to be hard to outflank them unless I move my cavalry all the way to this side. Which is what I'm going to do, actually. They seem to be moving rather slowly, so I believe I have enough time to move them over here. Okay, let's get the cannons firing at a slightly better target. Like that one. Okay, let's fast forward a little bit here. Uh, s because I believe they will be attacking me in this case. Since I'm using artillery to open fire on them. But I'm not too sure. I'm a much more defensive uh, player. Um, if that hasn't been obvious already. If you've seen a few of my uh, uh, campaign videos for Napoleon Total War. Okay, looks like they're starting to move in. Alright, slow motion here. Let's get the line of infantry to rotate as well. Move them back to that tree line. Okay, get the light infantry out in the front. Okay, the enemy's starting to move in, which is very good. Okay, it looks like our cavalry is on this flank now, which is also very good. Because now we are going to be able to move in. Okay. The enemy is really getting on that flank, so I'm going to pivot again. Okay, let's line the troops up slightly against the cannon there. Or, well, pretty much against the cannon, but I don't want to be sh get my own troop shot. Okay, I'm going to move the line of the tree slightly more to the best center over there. Angle them maybe a little bit. Okay, so our cavalry's moving out. Okay, let's get them over there. Okay, our artillery's giving them hell. We got the nice 12 pounders now. Which is highly effective. Okay, I'm gonna move my uh, light infantry back a little bit. I angled them here a little bit, but it seems like it's not working out quite as well as I planned. Okay, so let's move them back slightly. Okay, quickly. We have killed their generals. Oh. They must break. Oh crap. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Holy crap, that was lucky. The general came right in behind the unit of Landwehr that I was shooting at and got himself killed. So that is going to make this battle, like, easy. Incredibly easy. Uh, okay. They're chasing after my cavalry, which is a good thing. Draw them out here. Draw them away, specifically. Oh crap, look at that. Master out. Okay. I'm just gonna have the artillery for now just fire um, grape shot at, at anyone who enters their range. Okay, we're gonna charge those two units after him, and these two units after him. And then hopefully by then we'll be able to swing the rest of the troops around or the cavalry around and smash against the enemy's rear. Looks like the enemy's center has completely collapsed, which is highly expected. Okay, our cavalry have just smashed into the enemy militia. The 
Okay, yeah, they've s totally smashed them. All right, let's continue the charge onto that other infantry unit. Okay, the enemy militia there has been crushed, and we're just gonna keep working up the line, just like I said. Gonna keep moving on up. Okay, let's send these two over here, though. Hopefully these units, they can just hurry up to their rear. All right, we're gonna keep pressing our advantage. Okay, have them cease their auto, auto fire. Okay, continue on. Okay, so our Hussars are chasing down the remnants of the Austrian army on the left flank. Or my left flank, should I say. Okay, let's continue on to the Landwehr unit. Okay, we are crushing their army. Need to be careful with my cavalry though. They're taking some heat. Okay, continue on after their general. But you go after that routing infantry. Same with you. Or well, no, you two. You three, actually. Well, no. You two go smash that unit that's coming back. Then I'll send this unit over here to finish off what remains of the Austrian um, army. Okay, attack that regiment. Okay, this should be enough to cause a mass route. Yep, it's working. All right, let's get our general out here to get some of this uh, glory. Okay, you go after him. Okay, you go after that unit. Uh, there goes the Austrian um, Fusiliers, which is a huge help. Sir, sir, our general is under attack. Okay, you guys continue your pursuit. Go after that unit, though. It's a lot bigger. Okay, you go after them. Okay, it looks like the majority of their forces have been crushed. Yep, there they rout. Okay, I'm gonna send the general after the Fusiliers, though. Okay, so the uh, enemy army has been routed, and we're gonna pursue them for as long as possible. Or, well, till, till the majority get routed off the field. Or, well, there's just so many, I don't even know. And they're just militia, so a good auto-resolve should do them in. So, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and end it now. So they lost about roughly half their troops, and the rest are, you know, incredibly tattered from the battle. And I lost barely 200 men. So that was a resounding success. And we, there's even a battle symbol right there, so that's cool. Okay, so let's finish off the remnants of that Austrian force. Should do with an auto resolve here. Okay, so let's just, yeah, finish them off. Alright, so we're gonna send the troops back towards the capital. Corporal and Gold Braid. That's very good. So yeah, one command when leading infantry and improved morale for all units, w plus one. So our troops are definitely starting to improve here. 
Okay, so I'm gonna move the militia into the capital just to help with the public order. And that seems to actually be good enough. Just three units. But the problem is they're surrounded by enemies, so I can't just leave the leave them. I do have a huge um, force of militia here. I need to think about that, but they're still needed. Okay, so I believe we're all set, so... Well, actually, let's be sure we got all the ships mobilized. Okay, so we're getting another unit there. We got both trade ships in uh, uh, the fur trade nodes. We need another trade ship for there. That's what I believe that unit is going to be for. That's building right now. So, let's go ahead and end the turn. But yeah, I do like this mod pretty well. It's nice to see, like, a ton of different factions in this game. I mean, obviously that's not how it's supposed to be historically. Um, right now, anyway. But, it's still, it, it creates a more unique gameplay, I guess you could say. Okay, that Austrian army. I don't know what they're thinking. They went all the way down there to sack that port, and then go all the way back up by my army, which is now gonna be at maximum movement points next turn. Uh, sometimes, you know. We've all experienced the dumb AI. Well, you could say the AI is just dumb. <laughs> but, occasionally they do get the better of you. If you're not careful, anyway. Okay, so we're no longer trading with Prussia. We got metal metalled roads. Oh yeah, we're at war with Prussia, yeah. No wonder we stopped trading. Uh, now I'm gonna probably trade with France. Yeah, they seem like the most logical person to trade with. More trade for them means more money for the me and them, and that means that they'll hopefully be able to, to attack my enemies. Okay, so let's go after this army. Okay, so they're retreating, which is expected, but we're gonna go finish them off in a quick auto resolve. Okay, so that deals with that force. But new threats emerge. Another army of Landwehr. Well, I don't know if I even want to call that a threat. I'm glad I've yet to f um, I have not faced uh, a major Austrian force. That would have been a big deal. The Crimeans, I'm not sure why they declared war. I mean, I don't know. It must be the AI. I've talked about this in the last video. They like to attack uh, you for being their neighbor, I guess you might say, in Napoleon Total War. So, yeah. Alright, so we got um, national consensus technology, which will help a little bit with income. Um, I'm going to go for mass mobilization. Well, no, actually, we need to um, go for industrial tech, so I'm going to go for just the basic tech, which was division of labor. So, yeah. Alright. Actually, let me check w what the victory c um, conditions are. So I do need southern Italy and Sicily. So that's something to think about. I don't have that many friends. Savoy's a friend, though. Catalonia's a friend. Might as well ally with them if they would take me. Nah, I didn't think so. Savoy, they want an alliance, but they're sadly at war with France, Portugal. I'm not, I, I really have no reason for an alliance, honestly, because I am literally surrounded by enemies on all my land borders. And anyone who's friendly to me is far away, not really able to help me. So that's not really an option. But I might try and sabotage some of Austria's uh, stuff. Well, I could attempt. Well, it's 50% chance, but I'll try it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll just move him up here. Yeah, I'm gonna need to deal with, uh... Well, actually, now that I think about it, what I could do is move an army up here to this army right here, specifically, north towards Moldova to protect the city and my interest there from the Russians and the Crimeans 
and then I could send my larger, more experienced army into Austria, Austria and Transylvania, so we can start to gain some ground. The only hitch to that plan is they could come pouring in through Greece and right to my capital in Athens, which would be a major blow. But luckily there's a ton of recruitment slots and I can definitely afford to get some troops in here quickly. But what I really need here actually is a star fort. Then I could even use militia to hold the fort. But let's repair the docks and end the turn. Okay, uh, yeah, I kind of forgot about that, so I'm just going to have them stand there. Just to ensure that we don't get any surprise attacks on the city. The Austrians are sending a crap ton of militia, which is highly annoying. Yeah, I knew there would be another army. So I'm going to have to... Well, I'm not sure what they're doing. Yeah, actually, I mean, that's a perfect plan that I thought of, but... It's just not going to work. I'm too stretched right now in terms of manpower. Okay, hmm. we got logistics, which is good. What did that give us? Gives us plus 2% replenishment in all my regions, plus 5% campaign movement range, and it enables me to build a supply post, which is also very good. Okay, so we got another merchantman. We're going to send him to occupy this trade node right here in Izmir. So yeah, we're going to build more merchantmen. Okay, that's just militia. So I'm going to actually send this big force here after him. Uh, this should be well enough to defeat them. Okay, so that small Austrian army has just been destroyed. And I would love to go after these troops here. Oh yeah, they are more professional as well. They got Uhlans, German Fusiliers, and Grenzers. Huh. Yeah, I'm kind of in a pickle right now. Uh, yeah, I guess this place does have a small star fort, which is kind of a good thing going for us right now. Hmm. I really need to get this large army moving. It's just that no matter where I go, there's someone to combat me. And I really don't want to push that far into Russia, right now anyway, because then I would have a large area which to fight. I need to consolidate places closer to home, especially in the Balkans. If I capture the Balkans, I can put a cork in the bottle towards my capital in Athens and Greece. Okay, so what are we going to do about this? Okay. As long as they keep attacking me in old Moldova, I should be fine. So I'm going to continue with my old plan and attack the Balkans. Okay, so I'm going to send this army there. It's slightly smaller than my um, main army, but it should be enough to hold. And just in case, I'm going to start building a small amount of troops in Moldova. Professional troops. Yeah, I might as well build a line infantry there. So, let's end the turn. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I forgot I'm on a spy. He's in Transylvania right now. So, at least the road there is being watched. Yeah, that's what I thought. Here comes a Austrian force. Okay, so they are taking that route. Ooh, we're bankrupt. Because as your empire has grown, the administrative infrastructure yeah, that's going to be a problem. That British blockade has just made made us bankrupt. Okay, so we're going to have to get that money back. We can't afford to recruit troops, it seems. Okay. Yep. I hope that resolves itself s soon. Okay, so I'm going to move my army towards Athens. That is a problem, having them right there. They could attack Greece in one turn. Luckily, we do have a large armed citizen force there. But I doubt it'll be enough to defeat the professional um, Austrian army. 
Okay, so I'm going to move my trade ship to Izmir. Alright, let's see. That didn't really help much with income. I would love to trade. Maybe I should cancel my trade agreement with them. Okay, so that may have been not the greatest idea, but we're going to try this. See if that solves some of our problems. Oh yeah, it did. So yeah, that may have just been a good idea. Because now that Spain's port, it just seems that we trade with them, is in the south, in Cartagena. Um, away from the British Navy. Let's just hope that they remain there. Alright, that I'm afraid the Austrians may be able to take Athens, though, which is not a good thing. So I'm going to recruit as many militiamen as I can, just in preparation of that possibility. To see if I might be able to ward them off somehow. Okay, so... They can spread out all the way to there, so if I move this guy here... I, my plan is to give the Crimeans a little bit of pressure, so... I'm going to leave that army there and end the turn. Yeah, they moved back, just like I thought. Uh, oh well. I just knew if I attacked from where I was, they would just retreat and I would have an army stuck out there and that wouldn't be no good. We may soon have Prussians on our border as well. Okay, so I guess it's good news that that Austrian army has not attacked Athens, but I'm going to keep moving my guy towards Athens because it looks like they are just uniting um, troops to them there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and not recruit more troops here because I'm pretty confident that they won't end up actually attacking them so with my new army there. They may end up retreating. Uh, so yeah. I'm actually wanting to complete this army, so I'm going to get another Hussar. Another... Okay, so another Hussar, another Light Infantry, and then two more Line Infantry. And we're going to end the turn again. I believe we should get um, labor division technology now. Yeah, I figured they retreated. Oh crap, I forgot about that army. Well, it's a small one and now they're stuck in the city. So that shouldn't be too big of a deal. Though they are on the road now. Okay, so we got another agent, which... Oh, that's a gentleman. It's not a... Well, he is an agent, but he's a gentleman. I thought he was a spy. My bad. Okay, so I'm going to go research there. Factory master. Not bad. So, got another trade ship. Okay, we got a court of justice in Rumelia. Istanbul. So that's good. So we're getting a little bit more repression, which might enable me to disband another uh, militia unit. Aw oh crap, I forgot to switch him to mass mobilization. Okay, I'm going to keep him in poverty control laws. That'll help with repression across all my provinces. Help with public order, which is always good. Especially when I'm having troubles with that all the time. Uh, okay, I think we have all the trade nodes that r are really in my immediate area. I'm lucky as Greece because it's in the Mediterranean, which are most of the trade nodes. So I'm going to send him over to the spice trade node, I believe. Because I believe that's making the most, or well, nearly the most in my area. So we send him over to Valletta. And we are, of course, going to keep getting more merchantmen. And I'm going to actually send this army to the bridge up in the north. Just to pressure the Austrians a little bit. 
And we are going to repair this farm. We're going to attack this small army with the large militia army. Okay, we should be able to auto-resolve this. Defeat! Oh my gosh. Um. Wow. Uh. Yeah, that just happened. Uh. I didn't. Uh, okay, I'm confused about that. I mean, numerically, that just doesn't even make sense. My troops should have easily overwhelmed them. Oh well. Um. Yeah, we're gonna attack him with the large army. It seems we don't got any other choice. Okay, so yeah. That should be an easy victory for him, at least. That must have been a really good general. Holy crap. <laughs> I really underestimated that out of Rudolph. Okay, so we got more moral in battles. So our troops are a little bit more professional. Now we're going to move this army. Actually, we're going to leave him right where he is. Because I believe there's another Austrian force not far away. Or well, I moved him a little bit, but... You guys know what I mean. So we're gonna end the turn. Ah, the Crimeans. They're coming back. I'm glad the Russians haven't really made an advance yet. Okay, yep, there's a large Austrian army. Gosh, Austria is really powerful. They've got lots of troops everywhere. Though, I'm pretty sure they're mostly uh, militia troops, but still. Ah, yes, I forgot about my agent. I'll see if he can't sabotage something. No. Too risky. Maybe this lumber? 66%? We'll try it. Ah, crap. Okay, we're just gonna stick him in there. Okay, so we got... We got our troops we need from Greece. We're gonna just ban this militia. We're gonna send those troops north towards the Balkans. And we're gonna get the gentleman and send him towards so towards Sofia in research. And we're going to attack the Balkans. Hopefully it's not that well defended. Yes, it's not that well defended. Um, I feel like there'll be better better battles than this, so we're going to auto-resolve. I believe I should win. The balance seems much more in my favor, so we're going to auto-resolve. Okay, yeah, we did all right there. So now let's occupy. And hope I don't get besieged. <laughs> okay, so we captured the Balkans. Though we just captured it, so could easily sway back into enemy hands. But the good news is, is we've got a stable front on our hands now. It'd be nice if I didn't have to worry about Moldova, though. And then I could focus on Bucharest, Wallachia, and the Balkans, and then I'd have sort of a bottleneck to funnel the enemy, tr enemy through. But this is the only thing protecting my core regions from being attacked. Okay, so I'm going to send my main army towards this force in the city. See if we can't take them out. Okay, so they retreated. We're going to get inside the settlement and repair. Okay, they withdrew. Now let's resume my old plan of reinforcing these towns a little bit. Or Moldova a little bit. Um, we're going to end the turn now. Okay, so yeah, we got the trade ship in that node. Which will help with income slightly. Oh boy. There they go. Yep, I figured. The AI, uh, AI is kind of slippery when it comes to catching them. Luckily though, it seems their main large army there has not moved. So I should be able to reinforce um, the Balkans. With the small army I have detached to the city. Okay, so we're just going to research. I actually might duel. It just depends. None of them seem particularly that great at dueling, though. Specifically, anyway. 
Okay, so now the city in the Balkans has been reinforced, which is very good. That means we have a strong grip. Well, nearly reinforced, reinforced I should say. But we yet have a strong grip on the city. Okay, let's get our main army here to attack Lothar. Okay, so he's retreated, which is expected. Um, okay, so it's mostly militia. We're just going to send in our troops, our professional army, to wipe them out. So let's auto-resolve. Yeah, that was resounding success. Very good, very good. Uh, we're, yep, he can't move, so we're just going to leave him there. Yeah, so this army is becoming very professional, which is a very good thing. This will be our head honcho army. And then we got another army built here, so we're starting to develop a strong country from practically nothing. But the problem is, we're at war with a lot of strong countries, so this may or may not go well. <laughs> okay, so let's end the turn again. Okay, so Austria has now been given pause, but they're not broken by a long shot, because they still have that massive army there with a very good general. And I think that'll be a battle we'll fight very soon, like next turn, if everything goes well. Oh, it looks like the Spanish are taking an army. Probably to attack um, Gibraltar. Development in these areas now. Okay, so we got the troops we need to help reinforce Moldova and maybe hold them off there. It's doubtful, but possible. Okay, so let's get a couple of units of light infantry in there. Russian army is nearby. Not good. Though at least this city's not defenseless. It's got a star fort, we have to remind ourselves. So that should make it slightly easier to defend. Alright, so we're going to attack this large Austrian army. It's the most professional one we've seen yet. So, this could be a challenge. But let's get everything else in order real quick though. Spice has gone down in price a little bit. So I'm going to send this guy to the coffee um, in that trade node. Okay, so public order went up in Istanbul. Whoa. <laughs> that that went way up. So that's a very good thing. But I, I would disband these troops, but I might as well send them towards the Balkans. Except I'm going to send them through the southern route. Yeah, Istanbul's pretty good. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's why. Because there's Austrians in the province. Yep. Yeah, uh... I didn't even notice that. So we're going to attack the Austrians. Let's see if we can pull a victory off. Yeah, that's going to be the problem. They have a very, very good general. Though our general has gotten some more experience, he's still not exactly on to par with the great generals of our time. Of this time, should I say. But their, tr their line infantry has the same as mine. They do have some 12 pounders, but I have three. They have some very good cavalry. I'll definitely give them that. They have better melee defense and, well, let's just fight the battle. We should be able to pull this off. Okay, so the Battle of Rumelia, 1806. Attacker, Thomas Penteliku. The defender is Karl von Osterich. Gosh, I can't pronounce those very well. So if we win here, we can cripple an, a serious Austrian threat. And hopefully it will take some time before the Austrians can bring up another great army to face us. And if we lose here, that'll spell doom for this army. And if this army falls, that would most likely mean the end of this campaign. Alright. Let's see here. 
The most elevated position seems to be on this hill. Though sadly there is a mound here, which is making it more difficult. But I will be putting the artillery right here. This seems like the best spot possible. I'll slightly angle them though. Um, let's get all the line infantry just on this side. But we're going to spread them out um, once we start the battle. And we're going to get the light infantry and get them in light infantry behavior. Spread them out. Get the cavalry. And put them on this flank since I have nothing guarding it. Get the general, place him behind the mound here for some protection. Tell the artillery to cease fire until permission is granted, and we're going to start the battle. Okay, let's get our troops moving forward. Hmm. They do envelop us on this flank, which is a problem. Maybe I should have put them slightly over here as well. Probably would have been a better idea. I'm going to have to compensate. Oh boy. Yeah, I should have done that. That's going to make this much more difficult. Because there's no way they're going to get over here in time. I could just move a few over here. Like, get three units or so. Move them over to this side. Move them right there. Get two line infantry. Move them back here. And then get the rest of the troops on this flank to just line up and prepare for an enemy attack. Okay, so our troops are running. Let's get our light infantry up to the front lines. Okay, let's get them out there. Okay, let's get our cavalry out of the way. Oh yeah, that was that's what I was thinking. The enemy cavalry's coming in. Okay, open fire. Okay, the enemy seems to have paused, which is very good. Okay, so our artillery should be able to open fire very soon. Okay, let's get this guy to go into square formation. And get these troops to open fire on that... Well, actually, is that a good idea? Yeah, fire on the German Fusilier Fusiliers. Okay, that sucks, but hopefully our supporting troops will be able to shoot them up. Okay, the enemy cavalry is pulling back. Okay, so let's get our troops lined up right here. Right in their faces. And get our light infantry up there as well. Okay, everyone run. Let's get the light infantry sped out a little bit better. Our artillery is open to fire as fast as possible. Okay, our light infantry shall be opening up fire pretty darn quickly. Let's get our troops here lined up better. Okay, send them there. Okay, let's get our cavalry on the enemy's rear. Okay, 
Okay, let's get these troops angled more. Let's get them right in their face, yeah. Okay, quickly. Okay, we're barrowing down on that Austrian infantry there. Okay, let's move our troops there. Okay, the battle's going... Okay, okay, well, I don't know what happened there. The light infantry completely messed up there. There must have been a cavalry charge when I wasn't looking. Okay, quickly back in formation. Okay, so the enemy Grenzers are getting beaten up on that flank. Oh crap, I should have went after the enemy general. Okay, so let's go after the enemy cavalry. Where's the other one? Oh, he's right here. Okay, send him after that troop. Let's hope we can hold on over here. Okay, let's angle these troops better. Put them like that. Okay, have them run. I'm trying to force the Austrian army to turn and face me. Okay, quickly get in there. Crap, I should have made those troops run. I didn't even notice. Okay, charge. Our men are running Okay, some of our troops are breaking, which is not good at all. A few Austrian troops are on the run. Okay, let's focus. Yeah, they're still firing on that one unit, I believe. Okay, fire on those Grinzers. Okay, so we broke them there. So let's keep spreading out and heading towards them. Okay, I'm gonna have these guys charge. Though I know they're probably not gonna win. Well, it's just Landwehr, so... They might do all right. I just don't want them to get engaged in my line infantry because that'll hurt them a little bit. Okay, the enemy artillery has been silenced. Okay, so that's exactly what I wanted. Very good. So now we have this perfect position to set up. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Right here. And we are going to send our line infantry as well. Okay, very good. Okay, so let's send in the troops. Quickly. Because they are pressing their attack here. Okay, so these guys came back, so let's send them in. Let's get these troops angled a little bit more. Specifically him. Get him angled more. Okay, get that unit angled. Attack that unit. Okay, the enemy is starting to break. Okay, go after the enemy general. Our men are running. Okay, we're fighting very close quarters here. Let's 
get this light infantry unit right in front of our troops here. Get them back into the fight. Okay, send them over there. Attack that unit. Okay, let's get the artillery to ceasefire. And we're going to do a charge. Yep, it seems r about the right time to do a magnificent charge, doesn't it? Alright, so let's charge in. Let's have them to cease fire, because I know they'll continue to fire if they succeed in routing the enemy troops. Have them charge after them. It appears that that line infantry unit there is broke, which is a poor thing to see, but that's how it is. Have them go into melee, I suppose. Try and finish those German Fusiliers off. Have this unit charge in there after those Grenziers. Have these units go after them. Hopefully my cavalry can beat the enemy general. They go after them. Our men are running for Okay, I'm going to send my general in. Okay, so we wounded the enemy general. She must be one of their major generals. Go after them. Very good. Okay, you chase them down. Okay, let's continue the battle. But you go after them. I believe that was most of the enemy army we just defeated. Actually, send them after them. They're the closest unit, so let's do that. And that unit should be dead. Just eight men left. And we're mopping up the fight here, so that's good. So today, the country of Greece has just affirmed itself as a leading power of the world since we managed to trump an enemy army. Considering they're an Austrian army, anyway. Because what I know about Austria, they were definitely the major power of this time. One of these, should I say. The enemy army is in retreat, so we're going to fast forward a little bit here. Uh, main thing I want to make sure is that these guys get cleaned up a little bit more. Okay, go after them. The men are fatigued, sir. I must rest a while. Um, just trying to be safe here, so be sure they're dead. Okay, that should be most of them, so let's end the battle. Okay, so it says a close victory, which I would agree with that, because things got down pretty close to defeat. But we managed to push through. So this should keep the Austrians at bay on the western front much better. Okay, so we lost almost half our troops, which is, you know, clearly obvious here. A lot of our troops are very, very low. Um... But the enemy lost mostly all of their men, so... Well, they lost all their men, actually. So that was very good. That was a very good success. Okay, so I'm going to send this army to towards Transylvania. Well, I should have sent him after them, but... Darn it, I forgot. Okay. Is that, they're actually still all good here, because the... Uh, there's still Austrian troops within our territory. But, for now guys, we're going to call this a part. So, leave a like, subscribe, comment if you want to. You don't have to. It's your choice. Uh, but it would always be welcome, of course. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.